You know, I think a big part of what I want to tell people is that it's okay to step back and reevaluate your life and make a change. And it happens with fitness, it happens in business. It's your life and you need to be happy. And it's okay to decide to change. You're not a failure, you're just choosing to do something different. I'm Christina Olson. I am a certified personal trainer, have my degree in earth sciences, and am the 2015 Body Space Spokesmodel winner. My dad used to race motorcycles professionally. He did flat track and quarter mile. He raced at the Houston, Texas Astrodome. He was always extremely athletic growing up and he really wanted to transfer that onto his children and get his children to be active, always outside playing, participating in sports, extracurricular activities, you know, skiing, snowboarding. From a very young age, I started skiing. I mean, I was probably two and they took me to Jackson Hole and I was, you know, taking ski lessons. And he just always really pushed us to be adventurous and experience life and all the different things it has to offer. And so for me, I've kind of embraced that. After I graduated from high school, I decided I didn't want to go straight into college and I wanted to pursue a career as a musician. Moved up to Los Angeles, got after it and made some good things happen and I really enjoyed it. I got to be the singing voice for Barbie, which is like huge because little girls love Barbie and you know, I loved Barbie growing up, Barbie and the Rockers, so that was like kind of a really amazing achievement for me. I'm just really driven, you know? That's the one thing at the Body Space Spokesmodel search finals on stage that I didn't say about myself when you could describe yourself. My husband was like, I'm really surprised you didn't say driven because that's the number one thing. But I guess for me, it's just so ingrained and such an innate quality that I don't uh, really consider it so much. I just go for things and I just want to be the best at what I do. It doesn't matter what it is. If I do something, I'm all in. I love to cook because it makes me feel good. I don't know, it's cathartic for me. <laughs> so what I tend to do is I take a lot of the recipes that, that I have or that I see, mostly family recipes, and I just make them a healthier version. You know, instead of adding olive oil to something, I'll use coconut spray instead. Or instead of doing pork and green beans, I'll do like chicken and green beans. You know, I think it's about really learning how to shop in the grocery store and looking at the ingredients because there are a lot of things that if you just look at the label, you know, when you're scrolling down the aisles and you see something and it says gluten-free, non-GMO, all of this stuff. If you actually look at the ingredients, it'll, you know, the second ingredient is like evaporated cane juice or something. So it's really about reading the ingredients and the fine details and that will in itself teach you how to shop better. Also, I'd love to do a cookbook. That's something that I'm working on and I wanna do more cooking related videos because I feel like people can read recipes, but sometimes you're not really sure. They look a little different than they do in the pictures when you pull it out of the oven. So I'd like to show people, this is what it actually looks like. You know, you can go about cooking it this way, that kind of interaction. So as far as end goals go, I don't necessarily have just one end goal and I'm not trying to look too far into the future. Um, I would like to continue to pursue fitness because I'm very passionate about it. Obviously I love earth science, but I've kind of put that on the back burner for a little bit because there's so much going on in the fitness industry and I feel like for me it's kind of an extension of the entertainment industry as far as, you know, me being able to give things to people and share with them. I'd like to start training more clients in person. I do have online clients that I work with right now and I have a couple um, in-person training sessions that I do with a few clients and, and I really like that experience, you know, being able to, to be there and uh, personally, you know, cheer them on and root them on and be like, you can do it one more rep, you know, you got this, that kind of thing. I just want to tell the women out there that you can lift weights. It doesn't have to be just cardio. Weights are gonna give you the tone body you want. Don't be afraid to lift heavy, honestly, because you're gonna get the booty and you're gonna get all the lines and the definition that you want by doing that. And abs are made in the kitchen. Jamie Eason says it all the time and it's so true. 
when you're really in shape and you're feeling good, it just translates to everything you do. It just radiates from the inside out. You hold yourself in, in such a different manner. You know, when I worked in the music business, I never felt as good as I do now. And it's such a huge difference. I'm so much happier now with my life and with everything that I've done and with my body, and I just feel a million times better. And it shows with all my interactions with people. And I think that if people knew how they would really feel when they got in good shape, that more people would do it.